What's going on? I'm bored. I have nothing to do with my free time. So I'm just going to go over everything I bought today. Um, picked up another one of these little Grogu guys, uh, the Bounty Collection. This is a Series 1. I, you know, they had a whole case of Series 1. And I picked up the two I really wanted. I got him eating the frog. And I got one. It's a Series 3 already that had him uh, eating the eggs. Because, you know, that wasn't a big deal to people. Um, so I'm like, eh, there was only two left of this one. So I'm like, I'll just grab more. I'll grab more. I like these little guys. I think they're, they're cute. They're fun. They're collectible. Yeah, my damn collecting. Uh, I picked up a Series 2 of the Mini Princess, the comic minis. I love these things. I don't know why. I bought a few for my friend's daughter, and I ended up opening it to see what they were like. And I'm like, these things are actually kind of cool. I've got a whole crap ton of these now. Just because... The big thing I bought today, I bought a new gigantic Grogu. This is more life-size to what he would be. Like, I have another one that is a lot smaller. I thought this one was really adorable when I got him. I make sound. He has actual rubber hands, rubber, or, yeah, rubber feet. And that's why I liked this one so much. But given size comparison, style comparison, as you can see, that's a big difference. Now, the thing I don't like about this one is his arms are all plush. He's so much plush. Nice big rubber head. But this guy, you know, if they made this one in this size, I would have been really happy. But they didn't. So I went with this one I got. He's a lot louder. I was very surprised on some aspects of it. For one, it can stand up. He actually has jointed legs. It's got some sort of joint in there. And then, messing with the round, he also has ears. Oh, I just heard a crack. I probably just broke the wiring in the ear. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, I can adjust his ears, too. I thought that was kind of a neat feature they didn't have to do. And he came with this little carrying bag you can put him in. Got a strap. The strap really isn't all that long. You dump him out on his head, apparently. Put it on your chest. Put a... Now I'm a dad. Alright. No, I don't have kids. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just thought I'd grab this guy. I thought... Got the nice plastic eyes. His mouth is open. His speaker is a lot louder. Sounds like generic baby doll, though. They should have done more Star Wars effect to it, but whatever. Now my other one came with the little frog and the bowl. I'll keep those with this. I want to kind of fix the bowl because it's got the little holes in it, you can see. Just so it doesn't have the holes. I was thinking I might try to figure out a way to move these frogs' legs so they're in a more of a sitting position. And then I might make a little terrarium for it. I don't know. I'm bored. I have nothing to do with my free time. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy yet. He's cute. He's fun. I don't know. My little nephew has that $60 one, the very expensive one. That one, this one was $25. The bigger one was $35 and came with a bag. This was a better deal. But that one also came with two little things. My nephew has the $60 animatronic one with, uh, came with a necklace and, you know, it moves in every which way. And it's a nicely detailed one. It's about the same size as this one, though. Maybe a little bigger. This is the reason I like this one. Screen accurate size. So maybe he'll make his trip to Disney World with me this year. You never know. Anyway, that's gonna be it. Now I gotta put this little girl on a shelf. Put her with all the other ones. Only need like two or three more of this set. So Alright, that's gonna be it. I'll see you in the next.